The snow is also causing problems over our heads. MTN's Carson Vicroy has more. Snow is typically pretty heavy, but it really depends on what kind of snow we're seeing, and that depends on the temperature and water content. It's called snow water ratio, which temp plays a big role in determining. Higher temperatures means heavier snow. Luckily, temps over places like Bozeman and Butte have ranged from 10 below to 10 degrees above zero, which means we've seen normal to fluffy snow. With one to two feet of snow being reported across the area, that's up to 18,720 pounds of snow, which is equivalent to three pickup trucks. Obviously, this adds a lot of stress to our rooftops, but engineers take into consideration location, elevation, and 50-year climate data before construction. Once in every 50 years, you might have a certain amount of snow on the ground, and that's what you want to design for so that um, your roof is likely to last through the um, you know, 50-year design life of a typical, say, uh, house or structure. Most of southwest Montana is safe from roof collapses. And so you would need about, you know, four feet or more of that snow, that kind of snow, uh, on roofs around here in Bozeman to reach the building code, which is 40 pounds per square foot. So uh, if your roof is built to code here in Bozeman, it needs to withstand 40, 40 pounds per square foot of snow load on the roof. In Bozeman, meteorologist Carson Vicroy, MTN News. And to find out the snow load that your roof should be able to handle, you can visit our website.